Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to highlight and contour your nose. This video is going to be um, beginner friendly, so if you're not that familiar with makeup or you're having trouble, this video is for you. So let's get started. So the one that I use is pretty expensive. You don't have to use this one if you don't want to, but I have used um, the Tarte Shape Tape or you can use like the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. That one's probably like around $6 I think, or even like the Urban Decay All Nighter, All -Nighter Foundation. Or if you just don't want to spend any money, you can just get a sample from Sephora and you can just use that for your nose and it'll last you a long time. So what I'm going to use, this is the Kevin O'Quan Skin Enhancer and this is really expensive. I don't remember how much it cost, but I have so much left. I actually got this, I think like a year ago or two. I know I have a lot left and this is just, whoa, I almost fell. And this is just super, super full coverage, like intense full coverage. And that's why I have so much left because if you use this as an all over foundation, oh my goodness, your face is gonna feel so heavy. So I like using this for the nose. Um, again, use anything else. If you don't wanna spend your money on this, you definitely don't have to, especially if you're only gonna use it for your nose. But I mean, I bought it, I already have it and I don't wanna throw it away. So I'm going to use it. But again, please use any alternative. Don't have to use this one. So I'm just going to grab a brush. And you're going to start off by putting it on your nose. It doesn't matter really how much you want, but you do want a good amount. So just like that, only on your nose. And you can just use like a brush or like a beauty blender. I have a Morphe sponge, so I'm going to use that. And we're just going to blend it all over the nose. Before I started doing this, um, I would actually, like when I would contour my nose, it would move the foundation underneath and it would look really, really gross. So this is going to help keep your foundation in place. There we go. So now you're just going to use any foundation that you have and we're going to put it all over our face. So I'm going to be using an oldie but a goodie. The MAC Studio Fix Foundation in the shade NC25. I haven't used a MAC foundation in so long. That's why I decided to um, pick it up today. And we're going to put foundation all over our face. Then one of my favorite highlighters, I have two favorites. One is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighter. So if you are a pro makeup artist, you actually get a discount on Anastasia products if you do not know. But um, I got this with my discount, so I love this one. And then another favorite is the Jouer Cosmetics one in the color or the shade Topaz. That one's amazing too. So I like to use, I have two favorites for my nose only, and this is the Sigma E70 Medium Angled Brush. Um, like this is supposed to be like an eyeshadow brush, but I mean just like the shape of it, I don't really see myself using this for eyes at all. And another one is the My Makeup brush set brush and it's like a small little circle so small that it, that's why it makes it perfect for your nose so i'm actually going to be using the mac powder and this is in the shade of sculpt so i'm just going to grab some on my brush and remember how we put that like thick layer of foundation on the bottom so usually like when i don't do that it moves the foundation underneath and it looks really like splotchy and nasty so you're just going to start off on the line going down this is going to like all the layers that we have underneath, that's like a protective. So that's going to help um, it from moving. So you're just going to start a line down and you want to be careful. You want to like sort of visualize it. So um, you're going to do two straight lines down. And the closer, so I'm kind of, well, first of all, so I'm kind of drawing the line down like that. I don't know if you can see that line. And the closer your lines are, the slimmer your nose is going to look. So we have one line down and now we're just going to get the other line and then make go down i just feel that the um that the way that this brush is shaped is what helps it work so well for the nose there we go and i can actually see it right there i can see on the monitor you can really see that it's slimmed down the nose and that's what I really like. So you kind of want to like bring it a little up, down, 
up and down. If you start obviously down here, it's gonna look really weird. It's gonna look like your nose is like, um, how do you say it? Like pretty thick down here and then all of a sudden it gets slim. Like, you know, nose aren't really like that. It has to be the whole entire nose. And then you could just sort of blend out the lines. If there's any harsh lines, just blend it out. And then also when you're doing this whole process, you wanna be careful not pressing the brush too hard or you are gonna cause some of the product to move or like the foundation underneath. So next we're gonna use the um, Razy Highlighter. So you wanna be careful with this. You don't wanna use like a big brush. So like the brush that I normally use for my cheeks is this Royal and Lingnickel Highlight and Glow BMD 265 brush. This is way too big for your nose and it's just not gonna look good. You're gonna get highlight all over your contour areas and that's just not gonna look good. That's why you need like a small precise brush and that's why I love this brush so much for highlight. So you don't need that much, you just like tap it a few times and you're just gonna follow it straight down. There we go, like that. And then also you wanna be careful when you're highlighting your nose. If you go all the way up or way too high up, you're gonna make your nose look very, very long and you don't wanna make it look like you have a very long nose. Well, I mean, unless you wanted to do that, but you just wanna be careful pretty much it that's like the whole process and yeah i mean it's not that hard as long as you have the right tools and like the right technique then you'll get it down so i hope this video was informative and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one bye